Welcome to Dak Band Productions and welcome to the TCA Train Collectors of America Toy Train Museum here in Ronks, PA. And we are at the O Gauge Display. So let's check this out. So here we can see um, a wonderful display of uh, O Gauge trains here as we're panning around on the display I'm going to try and get over this glass here here we go so now you can see a little bit better the uh, display we'll zoom in here and he has some cool trains on the uh, O-Gage display. A wonderful collection. Alright, let's take a look at the uh, running layout. Okay, so we'll take a look at the O gauge train display here.
so the museum does have a nighttime version. So it does run on a day to night operation simulation here. Very cool. So the museum calls this part the MTH section of the O-Gage display. Everything here was donated by Mike Wolf of MTH Trains. What a cool display. Looks like they got uh, Thomas the Tank playing at the drive-in. You get to see uh, the MTH buildings. And the trains do run on a timer, so you have to press the button to operate them. So cool. Okay, the sign says Oak Gage Layout, Rail Town Style. The Rail Town Layout style is unique to MTH as a current manufacturer of toy trains, which technically MTH is still in business, like Wolf just retired, MTH will actually continue on a smaller scale. Anyway, let's continue. The Rail Town Style used the Rail King product line, which included all the accessories. The track used here and the trains typically run on a loop in this layout style are unique to MTH. Most of the buildings and accessories are also MTH. At your right is the firehouse. Watch carefully, you can see the lights come on and the firemen slide down the pole while the engine departs the station. Do you see the trains and people on the big screen? The drive-in is modified Plasticville radio station with LCD monitor for the drive-in screen. Now I have seen or heard of of a prototype of this firehouse where 
the lights, there was also lights on the fire truck that flashed as well. But from my understanding, that was never really released. So, this is the MTH section of the O gauge layout. Then we come back around to the uh, O gauge layout itself. And the scenery is so well done. It looks like they used the uh, Gargraves track. I could be wrong, but. So they were calling this an O-gauge layout high rail. It was kind of interesting because that's a term I use to describe kind of high rail. This O-gauge layout presents three forms found in post-war period. O-gauge trains have been produced since 1915 to present day. During World War II, no toy trains were produced, and period from 1946 to today is commonly referred to as post-war period. There are several forms of layouts that operators pursue within this period. The three forms represented are line out post-war, 1946 to 1969. Railtown, MTH items, and high rail. What you directly see in front of you is the high rail portion of the layout. High rail came about in the 1990s and continues to evolve. It generally includes as much scale and detail as feasible while still keeping with the three rail track concept. The tracks and switches chosen represent a more scale like detail with flattened railhead and evenly spaced ties. The Gargrave's track and rough switches chosen were a compromise to more detailed items due to cost considerations and were donated. All the remaining items were chosen to be as close to scale 148 as possible. There were over 500 trees on the mountain. How many animals and people do you see? Most high railers use detail highly detailed engines and rolling stock from several manufacturers. The track side signals are operational. The balance between the ties are proportionally sized. A typical 8 square foot of high rail layout can take 24 hours to fully detail and finish before the buildings and people are applied and trains are run. Yet there are many operators in the USA that have home layouts that exceed 600 square feet in size. And then there's a cool reproduction a miniature of uh, the TCA Museum. Here is a replica of the Lionel D-265 O-gauge lamp that would be typically on display at a hobby shop or a store Let's take a look around here so that operates the uh the watchtower. Looks like there's a guy, two two guys running around inside. Can't quite see it. But 
that operates the floodlights. Floodlight tower. There you go. I like this MTH transfer uh, station, but I see what people are saying about how noisy it is, but it's still a cool piece. Rotating beacon. So there's, uh, there's buttons on here where you, where you, what you can push to operate different things. It takes the trolley. This is a very cool display.